Miso salmon is a simple yet delicious Japanese dish that you can make it at home easily. In this video, I will show you how to make miso salmon with two different methods. Bake it in the oven and cook it on a grill pan. The flavor of the grilled version is more intense and the miso marinade caramelize and glaze the salmon. Now the oven version is more subtle and the miso does not overpower the taste of salmon. Both are incredibly delicious and easy to make. Let's take a look at how to do it. Let's begin the preparation by preparing the miso marinade. The marinade is made with a combination of miso, mirin, sake, sesame oil, and soy sauce. You may also add some ginger juice and sweeten it slightly with sugar if you wish. Choose the kind of fish that you prefer. I usually use salmon fillet if I plan to bake it in the oven. However, salmon steak is my choice when I prepare it to grill uh, because the skin may fall off during grilling due to the marinade's moisture and tend to stick to the pan. Make a few shallow cuts on the thickest part of the salmon fillet to enable the marinade to reach the fillet's inner part more effectively. Place the salmon fillet in a container. Then add the miso marinade. Rub the marinade all over the salmon. Marinate the salmon for at least one hour in a refrigerator. And there's no harm to marinate a little longer. In this recipe, I use two different ways to cook the salmon. The first method is to use the oven to bake it. Line the baking pan with aluminum foil or a non-stick baking paper. Salmon can be pretty sticky when baking. And the skin may stick onto the paper quickly and hard to remove it after baking. Therefore, it is important to brush some oil on the paper before placing the salmon in the pan. Remove the excess marinade. Miso will turn color and burn quickly when it is heated. So it is a good practice to remove the excess to prevent it from overburn. Place the salmon fillet skin side down and leave about one inch of space in between the fillets. Heat the oven to at least 230 degrees Celsius. Broil the salmon for 10 to 12 minutes until the edges of the salmon become slightly charred. The time required is really depends on the thickness of the fillet. As a general rule, bake for 5 minutes for each half inch thickness of salmon measured at the thickest part. The second method, which is also my preferred method, is to grill the salmon. The marinade is quite diluted, which is okay to, to marinate the salmon if you plan to bake it. However, I prefer to place it on a small pan and bring it to a boil briefly to concentrate it if that is for grilling. This is because if I don't concentrate it, this marinade will form a pool of liquid in a pan which make it hard to develop the caramelize and the char marks on the fish. Apply the marinade to the fish and keep it in the refrigerator just like before.
Heat some oil in the pan. I use a non-stick grill pan, so there's only a tiny amount of oil required. Place the salmon in the pan over medium heat. Salmon steak is quite soft, so please be careful when moving it around. I suggest shifting the direction once to create a crisscross grill box and flip only once to prevent it from breaking. Once it is done, remove the salmon and place it on a serving plate over a bed of rice. Sprinkle with some white and black sesame and some scallion to garnish. That's how I make my miso salmon, two different versions. Which one you like? Leave a comment and let me know. And if you want to try this recipe, I've included it in the description right below the video. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a like. I will see you very soon in the future in some other similar videos and bye for now.